We were made of the vessels, although these vessels are useful. Their material, which is clay, does not match the New Jerusalem. In the New Jerusalem, there are no bricks, only transformed stones. We need a great amount of pressure and burning and flowing of life before we can be transformed into precious stones. The more pressure, burning, and flowing we experience, the more precious we become. For the building of God's redeemed people, Paul wants us to build the church in a proper way. Most of the work among Christians is not with gold, silver, or pearl, a precious stone, but with wood, grass, and straw. As gold in typology signifies the divine nature, wood represents our human nature. Thus, wood is worth as gold. We are fond of saying that we are all human, especially when we make a mistake. However, we shouldn't make our humanity an excuse. Our humanity must be a resurrected humanity, for the natural humanity is inadequate for the building of God's church. The building of the church requires a transformed humanity, not a humanity of wood. Grass is worth a silver. The Bible tells us that all flesh is grass. Grass typifies the people having become flesh. Grass is not solid like wood. It is weak and fragile. Thus, grass represents the fallen nature of man. The last item that Paul mentions in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12 is straw. Straw is the stalk or stem of a crop which remains after the grain has been threshed. Straw which comes out of the ground is worth the precious stone, which is a transformed substance. First Corinthians chapter three verse twelve presents a vivid contrast. Wood is a tree without fruit, and straw is a crop without grain. We should not mean wood or straw, materials that will be burnt away and that are useless for the building of God's church. For the Lord's building, we need the divine gold, the regenerated pole, and the transformed precious stones. The more we have of these items, the easier it will be for us to be built together spontaneously. If we experience the gold, pearl, and precious stones, we will not only be the precious materials, but also a building fitly joined together to form a habitation of God in our spirit. Thus, transformation is for God's building. We need to pray about these matters and fellowship concerning them, that the Lord may bring us all into the reality of transformation for His building. Life study of Genesis message 13, The Two Trees In the foregoing messages, we have covered God's eternal purpose and some of the points regarding God's way of fulfilling His purpose. God's way of accomplishing His purpose was firstly to create man as a vessel to contain himself as life, and then to place him in a garden before the tree of life, indicating that God's intention was for man to partake of the fruit of this tree. However, along with the tree of life, Genesis chapter 2, verse 9 and 17 mention the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Therefore, we need to consider very carefully the significance of these two trees.